boats rising, building a better world? Well, exactly, in a way. But not entirely. Full employment, pretty much, yes. at the time. Wages should be technically right. That's what you'd think, according to the law of supply and demand. But management will do anything to keep from having to raise wages, even when there's a so-called shortage of labor. We created a lot of jobs in this country in the 90s, but they're not jobs that a person can live on. And that's what, you know, completely undermines the myth of this great American job-producing economy. If you can't live on it, it just doesn't count, it seems to me. It's, it's not that people are even living at a sustainable level of suffering in many cases. They are living in what I would call a state of emergency. Not enough to eat in many cases, inadequate housing or no home, inadequate child care. Child care that really has them nervous all day about how their children are. I'm just having a tough time because you don't you don't see this. You don't see things being as bad as you describe them. You don't, you see, don't see any of this. You don't see it, Jack, because you hang out at Goldman Sachs or wherever it is you want to go to work. But they have philanthropy, <laughs> public service. A lot of those people devote millions and millions and millions of dollars to building houses in poor communities. Philanthropy. To... Don't tell me about philanthropy, Jack. The real philanthropists in our society are the people who work for less than they can actually live on. Because they are giving of their time and their energy and their talents all the time so that people like you can be dressed well and fed uh, cheaply and so on. They're giving to you.
someday, and I wouldn't make any predictions as to exactly when this will happen, people are going to get tired of getting so little in return for their work, and they're going to demand to be paid with their work. Uh, there will be a lot of anger when that day comes, and I think there will be strikes and disruption, but the sky will not fall, and we will all be better off for it in the end. Now we go always seem fair to me, but I'll get through it if I try. I don't call this prosperity, cause we're just barely getting by. Until my daughter breaks a bone, or what if my old Buick dies? Or Verizon disconnects the phone, and they mess up my whole credit line. Nickel and dime, nickel and dime. Oh, for Christ's sake. There's no free lunch, and no free dime. There's no